high score small group beating Kathy. 2012 Myrtle Beach top junior duo trio. I am very proud. Now, let me get to the pyramid. I'm gonna start at the bottom. Paige, you're injured. You're there because you didn't dance. There's nothing really to judge you on. Next, Maddie. I asked you to do a solo. You said no. Maddie's doing a solo this weekend. It's too late in the game. I'm not doing, I'm sorry, Abby. People don't tell me no. That was an opportunity you missed. You know, I don't really know if it's fair to Maddie or not. All I know is our kids have been on the bottom of the pyramid for lesser sins than that. Next, Chloe. We wanted a clean sweep, a tenth of a point. The next time we come up against that kid, I want you to make mincemeat out of him. Do you understand that? Next, Brooke. Brooke, we didn't get the bonnets till the last minute. Your job was to get that bonnet, put it on Maddie's head, and tie it. That was a crucial part of the routine. And you did it. And then, Mackenzie. Not only did you beat a boy, you beat two boys. And on top of the pyramid again, is Nia. Nia, it doesn't always have to do with the dancing and the performance. It has to do with all the other stuff that goes into it. Abby, Kendall deserves to be on that pyramid. OK, first of all, you have to understand, Kendall is here because she is replacing Paige. The minute Paige is ready to dance, Kendall's out of here. Well, you could have told me that three weeks ago before we started. Why? Once again, Joe got a little spicy with me. Why does she think she can just walk back into my dance studio and get her kid back on the competition team? You walked out, you went to my enemy, you're gonna have to beg Jill. She wins every number you put her in, but she's not on the team. I don't know what else to do, honey. I'm sorry, because I would not have put you through this. Putting her through what? She just went to a competition and won her do that. She learned something, she was fabulous. She's a winner, but you still won't put her on the team. The team part, that's about commitment. And your mother's always ready to jump ship, just like she was just now, understood? I'm going to tell everybody in this room right now, I don't want any altercations. I don't want tears. I don't want screaming, yelling. This is a very big week. We are doing the 2012 Abby Lee Dance Company concert. It is not a competition, but it is equally important. This is our opportunity to showcase all of the dancers in the studio. They get to perform all of the routines that they've competed throughout the season. The concert is also a great opportunity for me to market my studio to the general public. Hey, I'm trying to get new students out of this. We are going to be doing a routine. The routine is called Light My Fire, and it's hip hop. This week, our group dances hip hop, and I'm really excited, but none of us can hip or hop. Now, Paige, it's been weeks. I think that you are capable of performing in this hip hop routine. She has to get approved by the doctor first. Absolutely, but it's going to be with the boot on. I got strict instructions from the doctor that she is to do no dancing until four weeks. But we still have another week to go. Kelly, you're an original member of the Abby Lee Dance Company. I would like to see some of your classmates at the show. Thank God I haven't seen them in 20 some years. <laughs> I want those people to see that the Abby Lee Dance Company is alive and healthy and strong and continuing to educate children. Okay. Now, there's something else we're doing. There will be one person chosen from each age level to win a very generous cash scholarship. This is the very first time that the Abby Lee Dance Company Parents Association has been in the position to give out scholarships to continue their dance studies. All right, ladies, you're dismissed. Girls spread apart. I'm gonna start this number right now.